So I've already had a little sneak peek. The first thing I saw was this little thank you card. And then if you flip it over, it actually tells you the theme of the box. So the theme of the box today is going to be music. I love this tissue paper they've got here. The hot air balloon is really adorable, so I'm gonna keep it. Okay, so I've just taken everything out of its packaging so it's a lot easier for me to show you. So next, we've got a whole book of stickers. Oh my goodness. I can't believe there's so many stickers in this box. And they're all like antique looking. Oh, I love that TV. And then I think this is like one big sticker sheet at the back. I don't actually know how these work. So let me see if I can actually peel the sticker off. How does this actually work? Oh, okay, so it's very delicate. So you sort of peel them out. I think that will make it really easy for them to come off. So your creative studio also releases their own sticker sheet. So as you can see, this one is music notes and numbers. So we have another book here. And again, this is a book of music notes that you can use when you journal or even put them in snail mail. Looks like it's from lots of different books. A lot of Christmas ones as well, which will be nice for Christmas. Love that. There's so like there's so many stickers and pages in these because they're including like whole books. So this is a stamp set. So you've got the music notes at the top here, piano at the bottom, and then all these little individual notes and then jazz players. You usually need a block to go with these. So in order to press them down nice and firm, you'd put them on one of those clear blocks and then stamp them down. They're quite difficult, especially these small ones if you don't have a stamping block. So this was at the bottom and I'm really intrigued to see what's inside of this one. It's really, like it's wrapped really nicely, which I like. You know, I like something that's wrapped nice. <laughs> All right, what is inside? Oh, beautiful. So these are really delicate pieces of paper. Can you see that the edge is being cut out in this like wavy pattern? So on this side it's straight and then this side it's like this wave texture. And it's the same for all of them. So basically it's just music notes and I'm guessing that they've just photocopied it and created lots of prints of these ones. They've done a nice job at keeping all of the creases on the pages to make it look like it's really from a book. Have to make a nice vintage spread for this one. And then at the very bottom of the box we had the squared papers. Usually they include these. Now these ones are a lot thicker. They actually feel like sticker sheets. So they're actually sticker sheets. That's cool. That's really cool. So you can cut these ones out and use them as stickers. I'm pretty sure they're all sticker sheets. That one definitely feels like it. Oh, that one's going to be nice to craft with. I love that beautiful flower there. These are cool. All right, so what is next? They look like labels. I'm not really sure what I'll do with these. So you peel them off and they're individual labels. So this charm came in a little baggie. I have no idea what it's for. It does actually move though. So you can see it moves. Ah, that's really sharp. Oh my goodness. Note to self, don't cut yourself. Oh my God, I'm bleeding. Okay, so guys, actually a real knife. Look. Can you see my little blood spot? <laughs> Ow! Don't touch the sharp. Don't touch. Ow! Don't touch the sharp edge. So, um, I'm probably not going to use this or give this to anyone because it's sharp. Oh, I'm bleeding. Ouch! Don't know what I'm going to do with it. Dangerous tool in box. Be cautious. <laughs> 
So next we have this little book and I thought this was like the cutest thing in the world. You guys know I love my mini mail and just miniature things in general. And look, I don't know if I'm going to junk journal with this. Does it actually rip out? I don't want to rip the pages. I think I'm going to make a little mini junk journal in this. I think this is so adorable. I love it so much. I'll have to cover the back because there's like Chinese writing on the back. But it's so thick. Maybe I could do like a watercolour, like a little watercolour picture in each page. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see what I create out of this. So the box came with two washi tapes, this red one here with numbers, and then this one with a beautiful pattern on it. I'll have the link for this box in the description box below. Thanks for watching and I'm just going to craft for the rest of the video. Bye!